I rise to support my colleague and oppose the opposition, sorry, the um, business, government business program today. And I do so because there are seven items on the government business program and four of these are motions. They're motions that will result in no change in the law and result in uh, it, no decrease in cost of living to families. So whilst we're here in the parliament and Victorians are struggling to find a house, to pay their power bills, to manage the increased cost of living, it, it seems a waste of time that we're focusing on four motions that uh, will not actually change the, um, the, the, the way Victorians are managing their activities of daily living and their bills. So when I look at the four motions, the support for Victorian families, I expect then uh, to see in the May budget that there will be an increase in funding for the Warrnambool Base Hospital because that hospital needs to be built to scope and it doesn't need to have services cut or have less or the same amount of theatres or less uh, area in accident emergency rather than the, the more that we were promised which it needs. So we want to see an increase in funding and I would like to see that in the budget and imagine I expect to do so. Another thing, if we're really talking about supporting Victorian families, what we should be looking at is funding also in the budget the Lookout, the very important drug and alcohol rehabilitation centre that Port uh, Warrnambool Region has been desperately asking the government to consider because we are the only place left in the, left in the state and absolutely need this as an, a service of paramount importance to our community. I also see on the government business program, one of the motions is uh, to boast about the level crossing removals that the government has been investing in in Melbourne. Yet at the same time, one of those level crossings alone would have funded the Murray Basin Rail program and see more freight off roads and onto rail. Yet under this government, whilst they boast about being committed to rail, we see freight go from 14% uh, on rail down to just under five or just over five percent on rail. The, re the pressure that is putting on our roads is causing and adding to the crumbling of our regional roads. So what we need to see in the budget, rather than sitting here and debating motions, is commitment to the rail projects, commitment to the roads of South West Victoria, which are crumbling and need a massive injection into the budget uh, in May for, for their repair. I also see on the government business program uh, the government wants to discuss their uh, education state and I heard just in the parliament this morning the Minister for Education say that safety of our children is a priority by Minister Carroll. Well the reality is what teachers are telling me is they are unable to keep children safe and children are unable to get safely between safe space and the next safe space within the campus of the school and the amount of bullying and um, assaults that are taking place and the need to have intervention orders in our school is putting teachers under enormous pressure. They tell me they don't have the tools to be able to keep order in the classroom and they don't feel backed in by the government to do their role. I mean, I had the, um, the Shadow Minister for Education in the region. She heard the plight of the teachers begging for support from the government and what they told us, there's not a teacher shortage, there's a teacher exodus. So this government business program is really bereft of de details that the community need to drop the cost of living, address the issues that are really um, help making people struggle and uh, can't meet their, their weekly bills of, of groceries, of, of their power bills, of their fuel that's got to go into their car, nappies and formula and things that young families need. I heard the Leader of the House say that the East States Agent Residential Tenancy and Other Acts Amendment Funding Bill of 2024 will actually uh, go towards securing affordable housing for all Victorians. Well, tell that to Doug. Tell that to Doug and Nova and Archie, who are now in temporary housing at the um, at the charitable um, goodness of a, of a local family who have no security of tenure of their home, who are homeless with a little girl in a wheelchair. Tell that to Doug, who can't even find out where he is on the waiting list for a home and he's been waiting for four years and was told by the department, I was told locally, he's been told there is no house for him and his daughter and son and his daughter who is in a wheelchair. But he can go onto the rental market and try and afford uh, where the average rents are around $500 with very little support to be able to be got from uh, rent assistance. So this government business program leaves a lot um, to be uh, in need of... Um, being able to meet the needs of our community.